The indent tool allows you to create an offset pocket from existing geometry. And to use the tool, you need a solid body to create the pocket on, and either a body as a target for the indent feature, or a surface to work off of. I'm going to quickly go into a section view to point out the type of geometry that the indent tool can create. In this case, my target body is this rectangle with fillets on the sides. And you can see that this cavity matches this geometry exactly. So this tool can be very useful for injection molded parts that need complex cavities or anything that needs a target like this added in or a pocket added in that may otherwise be difficult to create. To add an indent feature, I'm going to insert, choose features, and then go to indent. I first want to choose my target body, which is going to be the revolve. And then the tool body is going to be this rectangle. And keep in mind, you want to turn off the merge result in your feature so you have multiple bodies. If you do the Keep Selections option, this is going to create this body on this outside. And if I remove selections, you can see it turns the indent inward to remove out that body. So this is what we started with. And this would be if we remove the selections. You can see that that's now following the inside portion of that body. You can also control the thickness of that indented region. Let's say we wanted this really thin. You can see that that thickness has now dropped 0.1 inches. And you can also control the offset. By default, this is set to 0. But if we wanted it to be slightly larger, can create a slight offset here. In this case, the reverse direction is too small, but if we flip it, we can create a larger pocket. You also have the option of cutting with the body, and in this case the thickness goes away as we're just simply cutting the body but we still have that option for offset. And we can also create a larger offset with the Keep Selections option. Lastly, with the indent tool, you can also work with a surface for your cutting body. And if I choose the target body once again and choose this surface, I should be able to create an indent with this. And in this case, we have to use the Remove Selections option because of the geometry that's present. But once again, you see we create that indent, and the backside of it follows that thickness that we chose. With the indent tool, you can also choose out multiple bodies. So for example, if I had a part with multiple bodies, I can come in and use that indent tool and choose out each one of those individual bodies. 
keep in mind where you select on the feature or the body is where the indent is going to be created. So for this single body, if I select it up here, it's going to create the indent up top. And if I select the bottom, that indent will be on the bottom. So you can see you can also create these multiple indents with that single feature.